Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Sweet Marvelous Melanie Show! We are back so that we can finish telling the story about the best sweater. If you remember on the last episode, we were reading the story that I had to go, but I'm back and we are going to finish this. We're going to read the story that left the page that we left off on and then finish the story and then stick around and we'll sing ABCs. Right. Hope everyone's doing marvelous today. Okay. So last time we start, we left off with this page where Grandma was trying to fix Spindle's hold that thought. Little one, come see me, little one. Come here. Come here. I have a little one making her appearance. She may not be in the field. We shall see. Anyways, in the morning, Spindle's grandmother, Grandma said, Spindle, dear, that sweater is just too small for you now. No, it's not, said Spindle, trying to pull, pull it over his tummy. But he let Grandma add some material to the bottom and the sleeves. See there? I think we left off here again. The bottom, she's sewing it up there and stitching the so she make it bigger so it can fit him right. Now on to the next page that we didn't get to yet. If y'all hear noises in the background, don't mind that. It's not Spindle. It's just my little one, Angela Grace. Which y'all be seeing some of her too on this episode. So stay tuned. More not this. Maybe today, maybe not. We'll see. When Grandma came to visit again, she brought Spindle a big present. It was another sweater. Different colors. Look how pretty. I think it's purple and blue. But purple is one of my very favorite, and turquoise is one of my favorites. See him here? When Spindle put it on, he found that the sleeves were a little too long. Oh no. They were too long. So, what are we going to do about that? We'll find out here in just a minute. The neck was a little too big. Uh-oh, can you see his face? And the waist was a little too large. Oh no. You can grow into it. You can grow into this one, said Grandma, smiling. He can grow into this one. It's always better to be too, for it to be too big than too small, because you can grow into it. But when it's too small, you really just can't wear it no more, right? So, always got to think positive on that. So, It's lovely, thank you, said Spindle, kissing his grandma. Mwah, mwah. It's almost as nice as my best sweater. See, and that's what I was talking about in the other episode of him. Even though he's not very happy because it is too big, he's still very thankful that he that his grandma took the time and the energy to make it for him because she's very thoughtful. And so he's thanking her. He's being kind. He's receiving it with kindness. What else? What happened next? We shall see. When Spindle... Y'all, yeah, I'm going to hold the book like this and read it, and then I'll show you the pages, okay? Because I think it'd be easier so y'all can see it better. When Spindle went out to play, he wore his new sweater. But he took his best sweater with him, just in case. It's always good to be prepared, isn't it? Okay, so that evening, when Spindle was asleep, Grandma was very busy with his old sweater. What was she doing, I wonder? Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. See, he was just climbing up the trees, taking a walk, you know. <clears throat> the next day, Grandma had another surprise for Spindle. She held up a brightly colored toy. A toy. It was a rabbit. I made it from your old sweater, she told him. Oh, the sweater didn't go to waste. Thank you, said Spindle. It's the best rabbit in the world. And he took it with him everywhere. Oh, look. So there's the rabbit Grandma made from his sweater. See, how cool is that? 
so you can do that so instead of throwing away something that you can't use because it's too small and being sad but you want to keep it because it means so much to you you can always do something different like make a bunny rabbit out of it or something if it's something that means a lot and you want to keep you can always find some use for it huh there's grandma there's spindle giving her a hug say thank you so much and there he is holding his bunny while wearing his new sweater the grandma made him and he is so happy and that was the end of the book the best sweater now since we've done that story i figured while i got y'all here we'll go ahead and sing a little abc's and one two threes how about it so abc's has 20, 26 letters in it. So therefore, we're going to sing A, B, C, D. We're going to sing the whole entire alphabet. And then, after we sing the whole entire alphabet, we are going to count to 1 through number 26. Singing it in the same tune as the alphabet. Are you ready? Okay, sing with Miss Marvelous Melanie. Here we go. Okay. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, for Marvelous Melanie, N, O, P, Q, R, S, for Spindle the Mouse, T, U, B, W, for Watermelon, X, Y and Z. Z. Now I said my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay, that was marvelous. Now, you can either say, Now I sang my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Or you can say, Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? However you want to say it. So, now, we're going to sing 1 through 26. Because A through Z, that's 26 letters. 1 through 26. Here we go. In the tune of ABC. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Yay! ABCs, one, two, three. Thank you for singing and counting with me. Yay! Sweet Marvelous Melanie. Good day. Well, thank you for joining the show today. I hope you all enjoyed the rest of the story, The Best Sweater. I hope you all enjoyed singing ABCs, one, two, threes with me. And until next time, you all have a marvelous day. And just a little sneak peek. Let me show you the little mouse I got. Angela Grace. She has her own show, by the way. It's on this channel. But it's not an actual show. It's just her doing random baby stuff. There she is. Angela Grace, hi! It's your parents, Angela Grace. Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> so she's the main reason for this channel. But, although she's not going to be the main character in this show, Marvelous Melanie, she will make a special appearance from time to time. Because she is Miss M Marvelous Melanie's baby after all. A.K.A. Who am I when I'm not on camera? Mrs. Jill. Nice to meet you all. I hope you all have a marvelous day, a marvelous night, a marvelous morning, a marvelous evening. Remember, Jesus loves you. Say your prayers and thank him for everything. And that is it. Stay tuned until next time. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you 
hit the subscribe button so you can know whenever my next episode is. And we'll either read a story, I will do some singing, or both. 